These multi-use trails are being built in our community to provide a more enjoyable and safer option for getting around the community on foot or bike. Anytime a designated area is provided for walking, you should use it. But the rules change where we walk on a trail compared to where we walk on the road. We shouldn't see any cars on these trails, so we don't have to worry about walking against traffic. In fact, all users need to stay to the right side of the path and allow room for others to pass us on the left. We should still only walk two people side by side here, leaving space open on the left side of the path for people going in the other direction. It is also open for anyone coming up behind us that are faster than us to pass on the left when they are able to. See how the adult cyclists and the younger cyclists are able to share the road when they use the bell or announce, on your left. That means I'm coming up behind you and want to pass you on your left, so please move to the right. Announce your approach, slow down, and make sure the person in front of you knows you are coming and is making room for you to pass. The rules say users yield to slower traffic, not the other way around. So bikes yield to walkers, and runners and everyone else yields to horses. But just because you are slower doesn't mean you can hold up progress either. The key is good communication, being respectful, and sharing the trail with others. We have a lot of horses in our area, and we need to be careful approaching someone on horseback. Horses, they, um, they're usually not afraid of bikes and, and, and kids, but if you come up too quick, you startle them because they're thinking of other things. And so if, if you're coming up behind a horse and, and they're on the trail and you're coming up behind them, if you, if you have a bell or something to ring and make a noise to let them know that you're back there, then everything will be everything will be fine you won't scare them when um, you're coming by a horse and you've let the person know that you're there and the horse is acting a little skittish a little strange kind of you know moving back and forth you'll be able to tell if, if the horse is worried about you or not and at that point it would be really safe if you got off your bike and and walked past the horse instead of riding past the horse um, and the person that's on the horse will, you know, take the horse off, off of the path and, and let you by.